welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe and click the bell if you want to hear about every single time I post. And if you want to learn how to make this cool t-shirt, keep on watching. Hey guys, as you can see, we're in a new location. We're in my bathroom. This is my bathtub. And disclaimer before we start, make sure you ask your parents for permission or get parent help before using bleach. And yeah, so what you will need is any type of t-shirt. A dark t-shirt is preferred because you'll see the most difference with a dark t-shirt. You can do a lighter t-shirt, but you're not really gonna see much change. I'm using this just Champion College of Charleston tee. And yeah, so you're also gonna need any form of bleach. It can also be like cleaning spray, pretty much anything that contains bleach. I'm just using normal bleach. You also can use like this bubbly bleach gel that like cleans toilets or something which I have used this before, I just got this recently. And you're also gonna need some sort of cup or spray bottle so you're not just pouring a big thing of bleach on a t-shirt. So it'll help you be more concentrated in certain areas. And then you're gonna need rubber band, hair ties, anything of this sort to help you do all the different designs. You can do a spiral, you can do lines, you can do bunches. I'm gonna be doing a spiral. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Hey guys, so here I am. I'm just kind of twisting it with my hand. You can also use a fork if you want to twist it tighter. And yeah, you just twist it until you get it to your desired look. I was just slowly kind of adjusting it, just using my hand to twist it one direction. And then just kind of push it around so then it's kind of in a circle slash spiral. And just use the rubber bands. You can use as many as you like. You can use none and just kind of pour the bleach on, or you can put on a lot. I chose to put on a lot to help keep it tight. The tighter you make it, the more spiral you get. And as you see at the end, I did not make a great spiral. But yeah, just kind of add as many as you want to your desired look. And then keep just kind of putting them on so then all the pieces are in. And yeah, just... I added just a couple there and all the pieces that are sticking out I just put a rubber band on it to help push it down. Then when I was bleaching I just started with little cups full and then just kind of poured it on section by section. This might have not been the best idea so maybe in the future I'll use a spray bottle because I ended up pouring it on way too much which you'll see. So yeah, I just kind of use cups because before the regular bleach on it, it just will come out too fast because it's a heavy bottle. So it's easier to get a cup or spray bottle of some sort. And then flip. And then after I poured the bleach on, um, it actually activated really fast. So I only had to wait, which you'll see it like literally three minutes. Because if you wait too long, it will get too bleached. And I honestly could have waited way less time. But yeah, here's a fast video of it slowly getting brighter and brighter. I would suggest less and then you kind of, I just kind of flipped it just to look at it. And then just take them off carefully and be careful. I would highly suggest wearing gloves. I should have worn gloves. See here it looks great. But once it got in the wash, I maybe should have rinsed it out first because in the end all the bleach just was in the water in the wash. So maybe in the future just rinse out in your tub really fast. So yeah, I just put it in the washer for my normal time. I added a towel to the load because it was just a shirt, so I just put in like a white towel just to help like scrub it, keep it nice and clean. I also did the same in the dryer. Hey guys, welcome back. It is a new day. I have washed and dried the shirt. Did not go quite how I planned, but I think it looks pretty cool. It, there's some cool detailing because the thread did not die, so it looks pretty cool around the neckline and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it might have, maybe I should, maybe next time I won't use as much bleach so I can get more of a spiral. Maybe a tighter spiral, but I think it still looks pretty cool. So now we are going to crop and then distress, so let's see how that goes. Hey guys, I'm back. I am in a different spot now so you can see more. And so yeah, so I put on the shirt. And I kind of, here's my belly button, so I got a washable marker, so you can wash it off once, so I can wash in the washer. And I just put a line right here, it's just a little bit below my belly button. So then when we crop it, there's more room to crop. You can cut shorter if you need to, because if you cut too short, there's no going back. And if it's longer, if you want to like distress and put some holes in there, which is what I'm going to do, there'll kind of be more room without it being super short. So. 
So as you see here, I took the same washable marker and a straight edge and just made a straight line. You can make the line as thick as you want since you're using a washable marker. And then yeah, and if you use fabric scissors, it will be a lot easier to cut, won't be as rigid, it'll just be a lot more smooth and just overall easier to cut. And I like to keep my scrap fabric because I like to sew things. And what I did on the sleeves is I kind of just cut on like the cuffs some little notches, little holes. And then once you cut your little holes, make sure you cut and then stretch because if you have a big hole, it's eventually going to double in size. But if you have a little hole, once you stretch it out, it will double in size, but it will be quite small. And you don't want to just have a big hole in the sleeve. So I like to start out small because you always can cut out more. And then I did the same to the other side, just some notches, little holes, cutting and stretching, cutting and stretching. And there you see my little notches, not too many but not too little. And then I did the same to the neckline, but not too many because I don't want it to be overwhelming. You also can choose to cut out the whole neckline, make it a little bit more rigid. You also can cut a v-neck if you want. You can kind of just take it your own way. Yeah, I just kind of did the same thing, cutting and stretching. Not too many on the neckline. And then on the bottom, I cut some little holes. Like I said, you always want to start out small. You can cut bigger. They're going to get bigger in the wash. So I kind of just cut out some holes on the bottom. I didn't want them too high up, but I just kind of put them on the outer edges of the bottom. Not too many. And then a little bit more on the outside of the sleeve. Very small, just little holes. Just pinched it and cut a little slit. And then, yeah, I just stretched them out a little bit, cut some more. I did like three or four on each side. And then I just did a few in the back, just so it kind of matched together a little bit. And there you go. Hi, guys. I am back. As you just saw, I was distressing, cutting, and I really like it. And I will be doing this to many more t-shirts. So if you want to see more of that, let me know. I feel like the distressing, which you can kind of do, you don't need to do it at all. You can do it. You also could hem it if you feel like it, but I kind of like the rough edge because if you stretch it out, it kind of rolls up a little bit. So yeah, I think this would be super cute if you're on college for tailgates with your college shirts or just cute quarantine boredom. So yeah.